Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is maximum nesting depth of the parenthesis. So a string is a valid parenthesis string called VPS if it meets one of the following conditions. If that string is an empty string or a single character which is not equal to opening or closing parenthesis, then it is a VPS. If a string can be written as A, B, A concatenated with B and A and B are individual VPSs or it can be written as opening parenthesis A and closing parenthesis where A is also a VPS. And similarly, defining the nesting depth, depth of S of any VPS S for an empty substring, the depth is zero. The depth of C is also zero, where C is a string with a single character, which is not equal to that, uh, opening or closing parenthesis. Depth of A plus B is max depth of A and max depth of B, where, where A and B are VPSs, where depth of opening parenthesis plus A plus closing parenthesis is equal to one plus depth of A, where A is again a VPS. So for example, these three are VPSs because there are valid parenthesis strings. Denoting the depths of zero, this has a depth of zero, this has a depth of 1 and this has a depth of 2. This has a depth of 2 because as you can see here, there are two parentheses inside a outer parenthesis. So depth is 2. Whereas this is not a VPS because first a closing bracket is occurring and then opening bracket is occurring. And the task is to return the nesting depth of S such that the given S is a VPS. So it is given to us that it is a VPS. It means there are equal number of opening and closing parentheses. We don't have to worry about the validity of the string given to us. So when S is equal to this, the depth is 3 because, because 8 is present inside 3 nested parentheses inside the input S. And similarly here too, 3 is present inside 3 other parentheses. So depth is 3. So let's take, so in this example, as you can see, 1 has a depth 1. Here it has a depth 2 because 2 is present inside 2 parentheses and this has a depth 3. So here you can observe that you just have to count the number of opening parentheses. So here you have to keep track of the number of opening parentheses because it is sure that the input given to us is a VPS. So you don't, so it is, so for every opening parenthesis there will be for sure a closing parenthesis. So once you find an opening parenthesis, you you keep track of that by using a variable and incrementing it by one. And as soon as you find a closing parenthesis, you decrement that variable which you incremented here so that you know one set of parenthesis. And you also have to keep track of the maximum depth. So compare every set with the maximum depth. Here the depth is one and here you will find the depth to be two. So you will compare this two with one and, and the result output will be overridden to two. Here again, the depth is three and till now the depth was max two but this 3 is greater than 2 so you update the max value with 3. So you just have to count the number of opening parentheses and whenever you find the closing parentheses you decrement that variable and finally compare all the values. Coming to the code, I am keeping track of the output variable which is initially 0 representing the maximum depth and this is the variable where I keep track to count the number of opening brackets. I use a for loop to iterate through the input string s. So instead of iterating through the string s, I am first converting that string into a character array and then accessing each character one by one using the character variable. I'm checking if this character is an opening bracket. Yes, it is an opening bracket, so I'm incrementing it. And I'm checking only when that character is an opening bracket, I increment that variable. If that character is a closing bracket, I decrement the variable. And for every iteration, uh, I compare it with the maximum value representing the maximum depth until now. And this will happen for all the characters present inside the string as and finally I will return the variable max. Now let's try to run the code. The test case are being accepted. Let's submit the code and our solution is accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is big of n because we're iterating through the string s once where n is the length of the string s and the space complexity is constant big of one because we're not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.